Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Tech Beans and welcome to this triple comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A70, the newly released Huawei Nova 5T, and the Oppo Reno. These three are high-end phones, high-end specs at a very good price. But yes, as always, we're not rich and there can only be one. Are you just gonna use it for gaming, for taking pictures, or for just watching Netflix on your phone? Well, it's your lucky day as this is going to be a complete comparison. The design, the displays, the games, the performance, and of course the cameras. Which one is the best value for money and ultimately which one is the best for you? So without further ado, let the battle begin! No. Alright, starting off with the design, first off, the Samsung Galaxy A70. Now the first thing that you're gonna notice on the Galaxy A70 is that it's quite tall. Taller than the other two. It's a very tall phone. That is a 6.7 inch display. We'll talk about the quality later. Next to the A70 is the Oppo Reno, a 6.4 inch display. Wider than the other two, almost the same height. But yes, for me, it has the best display because it does not have a notch or a punch hole. It is an all screen display. Display, pure screen. And finally, we've got here the Huawei Nova 5T, just released a couple of weeks ago. The Nova 5T is the smallest among the three. That is a 6.26 inch display with a punch hole. Smallest display, the smallest phone, and the most compact. The Reno is quite chunky, thick, and heavy. The tallest, the chunkiest, the most compact. There you go. Now, in terms of the back design, the Samsung Galaxy A70 has that rainbow prism effect, which is the same as the Galaxy. Note 10. I like it. It's pretty cool. It's a rainbow back. Very nice. But the thing is, the construction is not as good as the other two right here. This is only plastic. It's quite light though because it's plastic. And also, it's the thinnest among the three. Now, the other two right here is made out of glass. These two right here has that premium look and feel to it, especially the Nova 5T. The Oporino is quite simplistic. Very simple, yet very stylish and elegant. The Huawei Nova 5T is different. See that effect? When light touches it, it forms like a sunray effect right there. Pretty cool. It's also very elegant, very premium looking, and it looks like the most expensive phone among the free. But in reality, it's not. It's actually the most affordable, which I will tell you later. Now the great thing about the Samsung Galaxy A70 is that it's expandable storage. The Nova 5T and the Reno does not have expandable storage. Bummer. But they do have dual nano SIM slots, so I guess it's pretty okay. But the A70 and the Nova 5T starts at 128GB ROM, while the Oppo Reno starts at 256. There is no other variant. Now what about the ports? No need to worry, because all of them are USB Type-C ports. Just that the Nova 5T does not have a headphone jack, while the other two has them. Now you might have already noticed it, the cameras. The Reno has two at the back. The Galaxy A70 has three. The Nova 5T has four. Oh my god. But are the pictures much better on the Nova 5T? We'll find out in a bit. And what about the display quality? Which one is the best? Now the Nova 5T is only an IPS LCD display. Because it's an IPS display, it's not going to consume as much battery when watching movies or playing games compared to an AMOLED display. As these two are AMOLED displays. This is AMOLED and this is Super AMOLED. Well, Samsung is well known for its Super AMOLED displays. It is quite the very sharp display. Now in terms of the sharpness, they're pretty much on par, the Reno and the A70. But in terms of the vibrant colors, the A70 pops out more because of the extra saturation. That is the nature of their displays. But the thing is, it's still using a notch. So if that's an issue, then this might not be a great choice. And I'm not saying that the Nova 5T is not as good as the other two. It's pretty okay. Just not as sharp, just not as vibrant. But still, it's a very good display. But don't worry about it. This is 4,000 pesos lesser than this. And 8,000 pesos lesser than the Oppo Reno. So yeah, this is still not the final verdict. Yes, the price point on the Nova 5T is much more reachable than these two. Now to see how fast these free phones are with a quick speed test. Just four apps offline so we're not internet dependent. All games so that we see the difference. First off is Hungry Shark. One, two, three. Okay, that was zippy. Oh, Holy crap, that was super fast. Followed by the Samsung Galaxy A70 and finally the Oppo Reno. Now for Temple Run 2. 1, 2, 3. Again. Oh my god. 
These two were nowhere near the Nova 5T. This was way ahead. These were just competing. Third game, Subway Surfer. One, two, three. And there you go. Okay, so this is always first, second, and third. Now you're seeing the difference. Now for the final app, Plants vs Zombies. One, two, three. Now the moment I press the app, it immediately popped up. So... And there you go, my friends. Oh my god. Why is the Huawei Nova 5T so much faster? Well, it's because it's powered by a flagship processor, the Kirin 980 processor, the same one on the Huawei P30 Pro. The Galaxy A70 is just using a mid-range processor. So is the Reno. Now let's benchmark these guys to find out which one is truly the fastest. And there it is. The Huawei Nova 5T it's just so smooth. Very laggy, also very laggy. Now this is what you want. Super smooth, graphically very impressive. The Nova 5T truly has a flagship processor in it. Here is the rendering test. The Nova 5T is almost done. Well, already done. Followed by the Reno and the Galaxy A70 is trailing and there you go. The Huawei Nova 5T has a flagship score. 80,000 more points than the A70. These two are just pretty close. Just mid-range performance. Now why don't we try it on gaming? Okay, a little bit laggy. Whoa, now that is smooth. Also a little bit laggy. Okay, so as you can see, the Huawei Nova 5T is just very smooth compared to the other two phones. As you can see right here on the A70, it's very laggy. On the Reno, not so much. But here on the Nova 5T, oh my god, that is definitely flagship level already. Now coming to the cameras, for me, all three phones were exceptionally very good. But yes, the Huawei Nova 5T was just a tad bit brighter, much more natural to look at. It kind of represented the real thing. Like what's in the picture, that is exactly what it looks like in real life. So I'm pretty impressed that it's not even a Leica, but definitely looks like one. Like a very high quality camera lens. But then again, the look is going to be subjective. Your views to mine might be different, so so it's all up to you now on which look you're gonna go for. I'm just laying down the actual pictures for you to pick for yourself. So there you go. The pricing starting from the highest, the Oppo Reno is priced at 26,990 pesos. It only has one variant, 6 gigs of RAM, 256 internal storage. Next, the Galaxy A70, 22,990 pesos for the 6 and 128. I believe the Huawei Nova 5T is definitely a flagship device with a very affordable price tag. 18,990 pesos, you will get 8 gigs of RAM, the biggest among the free and 1 to 8 gigs of internal storage. That is certainly a steal. Oh my god, that is 4,000 peso lesser than the A70, 8,000 pesos lesser than the Oppo Reno. How awesome is that? Hopefully you found this video very helpful for your future purchase. Guys, let me know in the comments below which comparisons you would like to see next on Tech Beans. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. This is Vincent McGuffin from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.